Hi, this is Dr. Cooper, and this is a presentation for the ENG 102 Critical Reading, Writing, and Research Learning Community Class. This is the Week 1 introduction where we will discuss information literacy. Information liter literacy. So, what is it? And why is it important? And lastly, how will I become information literate? So, what is it? Well, information literacy refers to a set of characteristics that transform an ordinary student into a wise information consumer and lifelong learner. Information literacy isn't just something you do in college. Rather, information literate is something you become via your coursework and personal experiences with interactions with information. Some of the aspects of information literacy include using information technologies such as personal computers, email, software programs, and the internet. Other aspects of information literacy involve the evaluation of the information you obtain using the internet and online electronic sources. Still other components of information literacy regard the ethical use of information and information technologies. A couple of primary goals of information literacy are to get people thinking critically about the information they encounter and building in people the ability building in people the ability to use that information to create new knowledge. So as you can see here in the graphic, the term information literacy is generally defined as the ability to assess, evaluate, organize, and use information from a variety of sources. And that involves, as we go around the circle from the top, recognizing the need for information to solve problems and develop ideas, using a variety of information gathering strategies and research processes, locating relevant and appropriate information, assessing information for quality, authority, accuracy, and authenticity, using the practical and conceptual tools of information technology, and being able to communicate and share information in a manner or format that is appropriate to the information, the intended audience, and situation. So information literacy is, again, the ability to articulate one's information need, the ability to identify, locate, and assess appropriate sources of information to meet the information need, the ability to effectively use information resources regardless of format, the ability to critically and ethically apply the information, and the ability to determine if the need has been adequately met. And why is all of this important? Well, the definition of an information literate person extends beyond school and application to academic problems such as writing a research paper and reaches right into the workplace. So information literacy is also important to effective and enlightened citizenry and has implications that can impact the lives of many people around the globe. So it's not just about learning uh, in the classroom but it's learning how to be a great citizen out in the world today. The ability to use information technologies effectively to find and manage information and the ability to critically evaluate and ethically apply that information to solve a problem are some of the hallmarks of an information literate individual. And that is what our goal is for all, of st for all students is to be information literate. Other characteristics of an information literate individual include the spirit of inquiry and perseverance to find out what is necessary to get the job done. So we're not willing to just accept that something might be true or might be false. We really want to get in there and find out for ourselves, never giving up until we find the answers. That's what an information literate person is. So we live in the information age and information is increasing at a rapid pace. We have the internet, television, radio, and other information so resources available to us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. However, just because so much information is so readily and quickly available does not mean that all of it is worthwhile or even true. 
So what we have to learn to do is to evaluate that information. So literacy in the information age involves around the circle here and starting from the top going clockwise, the type of sources like the computer, the internet, music, print, others, all types of different sources. And then the knowledge, whether it's theoretical or applied. Then we have skills, hard, soft skills. Then the learning is either formal and informal. Time, we got the past, the present, and the future. Application, meaning we have problems and then we have solutions. And then context can be cultural or environmental. But because of resources like the internet, finding high quality information is now harder than ever, not easier. Finding the good stuff is not always quick, and the good stuff does not always come cheaply either. In short, to make it in today's information age, you have to be even smarter, not dumber, than your typewriter slipping predecessor. So everyone always thinks that because we have su such vast amounts of information readily available that it makes it easier. But it's not because we can't just say that every piece of information we find, especially on the internet, is going to be good. We have to work harder to find out and to make sure to evaluate and make sure that it is good. We also have information technology. So to make matters worse, just because you know how to use a particular information technology today does not mean that there is not another one right behind it that, that you will have to learn how to use tomorrow. Once seemingly exotic technologies like word processors and email are now commonplace, but at one time they were amazing and revolutionary, and to some of us they still are. It's kind of sad, but that's true. So we have to learn to use all of these different technology, things like Twitter and Windows and Messenger and Ustream and Explorers and Calendars and Vimeo and Google. I mean, the list is just unlimited almost that we have to understand and learn uh, to be information literate. And this is going to help us be information literate. So today's employers are looking for people who understand and can, can adapt to the characteristics of the information age. If a student has learned how to learn upon graduation, they are a much more attractive job candidate. An information literate individual with their strong analytical, critical thinking, and problem solving skills can be expected to be an adaptable, capable, and valuable employee with much to contribute. So as you can see in the image, we have progressed from the 18th century where we had the agricultural age with farmers to the 19th century's industrial age with factory workers to where we are now and uh, the information age with knowledge workers moving into the 21st century which is the conceptual age concept workers but let's stick with the information age for now and make sure that we understand how that all works So we have to learn how to learn. If a student has learned how to learn upon graduation, they are a much more attractive job candidate. So that's why information literacy is important to us. Also, information literate means success or equals success. An information literate individual with their strong analytical, critical thinking, and problem solving skills can be expected to be adaptable, capable, and valuable employee with much to contribute. So I said that once before, but I'm saying it again because it's very important and it is the reason why we want to learn to be information literature, literate, and that is why it's important. So finally, how will you become information literate? Well, simple. Chances are you won't really notice all at once or right away that you are becoming more information literate. Information literacy is a way of being and is a process of becoming. It's not really just one class that you take and then you are done with it. This course has been targeted as a vehicle for delivering the numerous components of information literacy. If you pay attention and participate fully in the learning process this semester, 
we will help guide you to becoming more information literate. So that is your challenge for this semester. Not only just to do what is assigned of you, but to think of it and think of the bigger picture of when you leave this place, when you leave Glendale Community College, you want to be able to get a good job. And employers aren't just looking for the person with a degree, they're looking for information literacy. And hopefully you will have that.